Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today is episode one of the Ask Dan video series here where you guys can ask me questions about anything and I will answer them for you. Whether you need help with something or you just want to know something about me or my setup or anything, you can ask and I will answer. Now I'm actually going to stream online via my PS4 in just a little bit so I'll be taking live questions from you guys. I'll actually give you guys the link. It'll be in the description down below or on screen somewhere here. So you guys can join me while I play some games because I'm not really feeling that well right now. So I'm going to be playing some games. I'll be able to answer your questions, help you guys out, and basically just spend some time playing games and getting to know you guys. So if you're interested in that, join me. But let's get started with some of the questions. First off, we have ChessDude67 who just basically left a comment that said more iPhone and iPad videos. And yes, I have been lacking on those a little bit, mainly because I've had a lot of different products come my way for review. So I've been doing a lot of different reviews as well as Christmas was just around the corner and New Year's. So I did take a little bit of a break. And right now, as I said, I'm a little bit sick. So I'm trying to just get things back in order, get back on a good schedule. But there are a lot more iPhone videos and iPad videos as you can see I now have an iPad so I will be doing iPad videos as well so stay tuned for that if you're one of the people interested in the iPhone and iPad videos next is a question from Ishab Khanna and I apologize if I'm pronouncing your name wrong but they asked if I have a full-time job aside from YouTube and if so what is it? So yes, YouTube is just something I do on the side. It's not something I do full time. I just don't make enough money from it to actually do that. I'd love it if I could, but at this point, it's not something that's feasible. It will not pay my bills. So I do have a full time job. And basically what I do is web design, graphic design, logos, marketing, things like that. And that's what I went to school for and got my diploma for. So I pretty much do that as my main job. And then YouTube is sort of like my side uh, hobby slash job because it does produce a little bit of income, but just not enough to be a full-time job. Next is a question actually from two people. Ted Pep and Video Willow both asked about the Minecraft series and if I'm going to continue that series. And I'd really like to, and I'm actually still working on a way that I can. Right now, I run my whole setup off a MacBook Pro. I've upgraded the RAM. I've upgraded the hard drive to an SSD. I have a second hard drive, which is the standard 500 gigabyte hard drive that comes with the MacBook Pro. I also have an external hard drive. I try to record using ScreenFlow and then using a headset to produce the audio. And I don't know what's going on, or maybe I'm just not familiar with how the process works. But whenever I record, it seems to lag through the recording. And when it completes, and it tries to, I guess, um, set it up and uh, set it up through screen flow so that it's actually loading. I have to wait almost three hours just for it to load. And that's for, say, a half an hour video at 1080p. So I've tried in 720p and the same deal. It just takes a really long time and half the time it freezes in the middle of it and it just crashes. So I'm not sure if this is something to do with screen flow. I do run out of memory a lot on the computer because it is a 250 gigabyte SSD and a 500 gigabyte regular hard drive, standard hard drive. So I'm not sure if I should just try to do this on the standard hard drive, but I just feel it'll be even slower. So I'm trying to think of something else. I may just buy the Minecraft on the PlayStation 4 and then sort of stream it to Ustream or stream it to Twitch TV or even record via my Elgato and then use the Elgato to sort of set up um, a new series on Minecraft through the PlayStation 4 because it does have Minecraft now. So that's something I'm playing with. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment box down below. I'm trying my best, but it's just not working. And it pretty much takes me a full day to record one 30 minute video, which just isn't feasible for me at this point. Next, DC209 Tech asked me to show a video on the equipment that I use for my videos and also a desk tour. Now, I have done a desk tour in the past. I am planning to do a 2015 desk tour in the near future. Also, I have no problem showing you guys a video on the different equipment that I use. I really don't use all that much or anything crazy. Uh, it's pretty standard stuff. And actually, I edit my videos just using iMovie. So I'm pretty basic when it comes to that. And I'd love to use more more advanced and more awesome stuff but it just again money is an issue because it doesn't grow on trees so I use what I have and uh, it seems to work really well right now but I will definitely show you guys a video on everything that I use. 
Next, we have a question from Clark Kent, and he asks if jailbreaking your iPhone hurts software security, and it doesn't really hurt the software security, it just leaves you more prone to security risks. So hackers, malware, things like that. When an update is released for iOS, if you update it, you'll lose your jailbreak. So if you don't update, you're using an older firmware, and that kind of leaves you open to hackers and things like that. Also, when you're downloading things from Cydia and stuff like that, it's not really Apple certified, and they haven't actually looked at it. So who knows what kind of security or protocol has been done on the things you're downloading. So it does leave you a little bit more susceptible. I haven't had any issues when I've jailbroken, but if you do a quick search on Google, you'll see there are a lot of situations where people have had issues where you could actually brick your iPhone or iOS device in the process of jailbreaking. So it really is up to you and what you're comfortable with. Just understand that, yes, it does leave you a little bit more susceptible to security risks. Anyway, guys, that was episode one of the Ask Dan series. If you'd like to be featured in a future episode, go ahead and leave your question in the comment box down below or follow me on Twitter and ask away on Twitter. And if I pick your question out, you'll be featured on the video and you'll be able to get your question answered. Also, right now I'm going to be live streaming via Twitch TV. You guys can go ahead and watch me. I'll have my webcam on so you can see me. I'll be answering your questions. I'll be playing games. I'll be talking to you guys. You can get to know me. I can get to know you and sort of uh, create a little bit more of a relationship. I actually want to see which one of you guys is actually like a true fan of the channel or if who are my real supporters and uh, sort of get to know you guys especially. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one.